So we're gonna look at what's faster, digging a hole for a fence post or driving a fence post. I said, I think, I think we can figure that one out, but nope. Nick, the producer, he's like, no, we have to have this video. I said no, and we're doing the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig a hole right here. We're gonna time it. We're gonna see how long that takes. I'm not even gonna cheat. I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna dig a hole right here all by hand, no machine used, shovel in a bar, and then I'm gonna drive a fence post over there and we're gonna compare the two. Which one is faster? Which one's more efficient? Oh, and my back hurts. I don't think I can do this today. Oh, look, my shoe's untied. I don't even have laces. I gotta go find my shoelaces. Did you see the squirrel over there? Okay. We're almost done. We're really close. I feel that's good. You can't make me go anymore. Yeah. I am being held against my rights. No, seriously, I'm being held against my rights. Whew. Soil type changed. Now it's easier. A little, a little rocky sandy. Look, I got a surprise for you. There's a rock right there. Nick, look a bird. Look, I made it to 44. I love my job. Love my job. Do you know what the number is for our HR department? That's holy ground right there. I did it. We went to 32 inches. Well, now there is no going back. They're both out there. And how much work was that? It was a lot of work. Yeah, that was, that was a ton of work. How many posts could you set it down? <laughs> Doing it this way? Yeah. I think my back would allow me 20. What about all the people that have dug holes much faster than that and just feel like you're a wimp. Okay, hold on. Let me stop you right there. No, you're wrong because your ground conditions are not the same as Wyoming. You come right here, we'll dig a hole side by side. Either my elevation is gonna kill you or my ground's gonna kill you because not everybody lives on a sandcastle like you might. There you go. <laughs> okay. The ground does change across the entire country. There's parts that are rocky. I understand that some of you guys have some volcanic rock. And I've seen those comments. That's never gonna work in my area. Everybody has rock. It's not just you. I'm sorry that you have rock too, but we do too. And we have a lot of clay. And as you can see, our clay here in Wyoming is drier than a popcorn fart. It's just like fairy dust. And that's why it took so long is because there has been no moisture. There's been very little of it and it's not very wet. So as soon as we got down about like that six to eight inches, we started getting a little bit wetter of a clay such as like this. And that has a little bit of moisture, but not a ton. But please, please, if you feel like we didn't give this a fair try, a fair shake, I would love to see your comment below. Why do you think Mark moved to Florida? Because the ground is easier to dig in over there than it is here in Wyoming. He figured that out. All right, so if you don't feel like digging a hole, there is, there is a couple other methods. Okay, there's only one, and that is pounding. And it's pounding two different ways. We're gonna go to manual pounding right now. I have this post marked. We're gonna drive that post three feet in the ground. We're gonna attempt to drive it in the ground three feet. Cause I just got done digging that hole and that was hard.
I was doing so good right out of the gate. I got two inches of that. <sighs> Two more to go. Take that much. We have a love-hate relationship. It loves me and I hate it. Well, I'm glad that's done. I'm trying to build up my upper body strength. I am exhausted. If I was to drive another one of those, either this, you're gonna get really, really strong by doing that, or you're gonna get like a few of these driven a day. You're eventually gonna get tired and blisters on your hands. Uh, I think one person, if you didn't switch off, maybe you get 25, maybe you get more. Depends on how ambitious you are. I think I would get 25, maybe, maybe. A lot of brakes, a lot of water. But there's an easier method. Let's show you that way. If you're looking for some comedic, funny SWI shirts, we have some on our website. They're pretty sweet shirts. Ka-chow! Because nobody wants to see you without a shirt on. Okay, so this is actually a thing. We did not make this up. This is a gas-powered pounder. This is all one assembly. There's a cam in here that you grease. It's on a little short little thing, kind of short stroking it. It goes up and down, hits the post. Make sure and see the link below if you're looking for one of these. We're gonna turn it on. Hey! I don't know what my time was on that, but that post is at three feet in the ground. That hole's at 32. I still have to mix concrete and set that post. I didn't have to dig a hole for this. I don't have to mix concrete. The post is in, and you can see that all the rock that I was hitting there, I went through it here. This method is a lot more efficient. When in the appropriate ground conditions, this is an awesome method to go to. You gotta know when you can and can't drive. If you start driving, either the post goes down really fast because it's all sandy, or you hit some rock and then the, because you're driving and then the ground starts moving away from the post and cause, creating a cavity. And as soon as you get done driving that post, you can kind of take it and wiggle it just a little bit. You need to stop right there. You need to find another method because that is going to fail. There's ground conditions that you can drive in and ground conditions that should never be driven in. Another killer fact about this is it's very adaptable to other posts. You can drive square, you can drive post masters for cedar fence. It's not just to pipe. You can drive T posts, you can drive round posts. This was a two and three eighths SS20 post that we just drove on the ground. And I'm pretty sure that we ousted the time that it took me to dig that hole all by hand. If you don't know where to get one of these, you're looking to get one, see the link below. American made. If you guys want, if you want to see a shootout between this driver and another driver, make sure and see that video right here. Stand with SWI. We are Wyoming's fence company. We hope you have a good dang day. Yeah, so I wanted to report that I was held against my uh, will on a job site.